you know, yes. speaking, speaking of faith, that's really where, where, where I can think that this, this really, you know, that that's the keystone is, is, is faith. You know, mm-hmm. as soon as this age of Aquarius hit, we have all of these debilitating factors coming up from the outside world. Right. And it makes me think of a, a story uh, or well, something that I heard from someone I'd met. I was getting on a Greyhound bus uh, to go back home after visiting family a few years ago. And, you know, I had no idea where to stand for the bus. And, you know, I go up to this guy and I'm like, uh, hey, excuse me, do you know where I could find the Greyhound station? And the guy's like, I have no idea. I'm actually blind. And then I look down uh, and see uh, he's like, <laughs> he's holding his cane. And I'm just like, I'm so sorry. Like, I, I didn't realize, but it's like, that's one, actually it's hilarious. like one in the morning. And I'm like, what is a blind guy doing outside on the street in Iowa City? <laughs> <laughs> and he tells me, um, you know, he tells me that he starts telling me the story. He said, uh, I'm actually coming back from Tibet. I'm about to go see my mom. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's an interesting story. Tell me more. And he starts saying that two years prior, he was diagnosed with this inoperable brain tumor and it took his sight away and he wasn't able, I mean, his life just got completely upheaved. And so they tried all sorts of alternative healing methods. And he's like, you know what? I'm just going to go out to Tibet. I'm going to meditate with these monks and I'm going to find that healing. And so that's what he did. And they said, you know, you have six months to live. Um, But he went out there anyway. And every day they'd sit in the mountains, they'd recite the original Sanskrit Bible, Sanskrit being a language that's so in touch with vibrations and, you know, just the idea that our voices, uh, sound itself carries magic. It's like a spell. Oh, yeah, yeah, and so yeah. literally meditating in the mountains every day with these Tibetan monks, um, his tumor went, went away. And when I was meeting him, he was on his way to his mother's house to say, Hey mom, I'm still alive. Aww. That's awesome. And that's beautiful. With that, you know, speaking on faith, I want to talk, I want to offer a, a mantra for all of us to kind of unite around in this chapter of the dark moon and doubting ourselves, but also looking forward to the age of Aquarius and all of these things we want to do. So this, this is a quote, um, this is a, a mantra in Sanskrit, and it literally translates to, may all beings everywhere be happy and free. May the thoughts, words, and actions of my own life contribute in some way to that happiness and to that freedom for all. And so uh, with that, if you're driving, I wouldn't recommend closing your eyes, but just listen (laughs) and we'll repeat the mantra three times. Uh, So with that, I will start. It goes, uh, Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. Repeat this mantra three times in your head or out loud if you feel comfortable. And anytime that you notice a moment where you want to tune into the message of what this means, uh, say it in your head or out loud if you're comfortable. Again, it is Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu.